are now in front of this uh, Sherman tank. This is the M4A2A8 or AC8 tank. This is the one of the latest uh, variant of the Sherman that was uh, produced during the war. So in this video, we are going to focus uh, our attention on this uh, bogey. So this is the bogey assembly for this uh, tank. You will notice here one, two, three. And for this uh, bogey assembly, it consists of these uh, four, four road wheels. One, two, three, four. And at the same time, we have this uh, bogey, or this is this they call this the bolliot uh, suspension system. This is uh, actually uh, a spring. So what happened is uh, they call this this the horizontal bolliot in the sense that it is being placed. Uh, horizontally and you will notice it has uh, two of them and this one is actually a spring the only difference is that uh, this this is a kind of a special spring because it's uh, you will notice the thickness of this from here to here the width of the spring is thick and it was spiraled in this manner So uh, when the, the tank is moving in uneven grounds, this boogie system is going to react this way. And all the mechanical vibration will be absorbed by this uh, bolliot system. It's going to compress and compress like that. And of course, spatter the vibration uh, the jerky movement is further reduced by this hydraulic uh, brake on top of this uh, boogie system. Yeah, so pretty much that's uh, what uh, this uh, bolliot, horizontal bolliot system is all about. In comparison, this boogie system of this old train is using this uh, lift uh, spring suspension it's almost the same as being used uh, on the old automobiles or trucks <laughs> 